Good morning and welcome to the Davis Summer YouTube channel. I am Razzle 11 and you can find me on X at Razzle 11 Grinds. Going to take a look at some pitching for today, the 11th of September. We do have an 11 game main slate, um, some potential weather, but we're going to have to learn about that as the day goes on. Uh, our weather station is not updated quite yet this morning. <coughs> But let's dig in. At the top, we get Tyler Glass now against a strikeout happy Minnesota squad. A minus 125 favorite. Uh, I am all about Glass now, even if even if he's not as good on the road. Uh, the K upside is tremendous. Coming off of a massive performance against Boston, 10.8K. Uh, I'm perfectly fine to paying for that upside. Brandon Woodruff, a minus 160 favorite, so a larger favorite, similar total game. It's been dominant at home, not many starts, obviously, but uh, just an elite option as well. I think Glass now offers a higher ceiling in the matchup, but Woodruff is in a strong spot. Framer Valdez has made three starts and is 3-0 against Oakland. <clears throat> has been spectacular against them. Has one complete game shutout. Strikeouts really haven't been there, but uh, it's just a great spot. A minus 305 home favorite in this one. Uh, there is plenty of pitching to like here at the top. Logan Gilbert against the Angels. They lit him up the first time they faced him. <clears throat> His overall numbers, I think, are better at home. Uh, the reason he's averaging fewer fantasy points per start is he's just not picking up the wins. Uh, at the same rate at home. We know that the Angels lineup is pretty weak, especially if it's without Shohei again. Uh, Gilbert is definitely in play as a minus 235 favorite. Uh, so some very strong favorites here at the top. Now we get to one guy that I might not be on. Uh, Toronto is a minus 145 favorite, so Bassett is a favorite. He is at home where he's been ridiculously strong. He did struggle with Texas the first time he faced them. This might be the spot where we can fade Bassett in a tougher matchup. Um, it's going to be tougher just because Bassett has been so good at home. And Texas hasn't exactly been amazing uh, over the last month or so. Sonny Gray, probably a better option than Bassett, even though he's taken on Tampa Bay. Uh, <clears throat> great numbers at home. Just doesn't allow home runs. Just been steady. Uh, he's just a slight home underdog. Tampa Bay does have some strikeouts in their lineup as well. Uh, I think San Sonny Gray is a better option than Chris Bassett. Luzardo, ton of upside. Not as strong on the road, uh, which is a worrisome. Three straight starts that are really strong. Uh, against the Dodgers in Tampa Bay and even San Diego. Uh, I like the way he's throwing it. For much of the year, I have liked lefties against Milwaukee. Uh, their moves at the deadline kind of made their lineup against left-handed pitching better, but I still like Zardo's upside in this matchup. Dylan Cease. I do not see a Vegas line for this game right now. You refresh. Um, There's a guy that I always fall for. Uh, he struggled in two starts against Kansas City. His numbers are better at home. He just regressed a lot this season. His last start was against Kansas City, and they knocked him around. Strikeouts are there, but he's just allowing a ton of runs right now. I'm probably going to end up passing on him, but it's really tough to do because I know what you know his upside is, and the Kansas City lineup is not overly dangerous, so uh, I have to debate it a little bit, but I'm most likely going to end up passing. Uh, I just don't like the way that he's throwing the baseball right now. Gavin Williams in a pitcher's park against a team that can strike out quite a bit. He's been absolutely elite on the road. Um, 
coming off of a great start against Minnesota, even though he walked four. Uh, I believe a rain delay kind of messed with him a little bit. Might have had an issue with his command after that, but uh, I like it in this matchup. I'm very interested in pitching in this game. San Francisco is a minus 145 favorite, but it is tied with the low, tied for the lowest total on the slate. Opposing him would be Alex Cobb. He's been dealing with a hip issue. Uh, he hasn't been overly sharp. He had that complete game, uh, one hitter, two starts ago, which is spectacular. But then he bounced back with, and got lit up by San Diego. It's hit hard by Atlanta and Texas. It hasn't been the greatest stretch of teams. Uh, Cleveland doesn't strike out a ton, but it is a pretty weak offense. So I think Cobb is very interesting. Dane Dunning against Toronto, no thank you. Mason Miller returning. I thought he was going to have Tommy John, but I guess not. Um, he's going to be on a pitch count. I would guess that he's probably in the 40 pitch range at this point. Uh, Threw five days ago against Toronto, 27 pitches. Maybe, maybe 40, maybe 45. Um, so he's not an option, plus he's facing Houston. Uh, but dude, the kid throws hard. Um, Singer against the White Sox was just lit up by them. Has not been good recently. Um, I'm just going to pass on Singer on the road. Quintana has been solid. Um, does he have enough upside? I'm not really sure, but he's been absolutely elite at home numbers-wise. Just one start over 19 DK points. Uh, he's coming off of his best one, so maybe we have to consider him. But I do like the Arizona offense a bit as well. Reed Detmers, pretty strong road underdog. Strong road dog here for Detmers. Has struggled against Seattle this season. Said some strong starts recently, but then some bad starts as well. There is K upside in the matchup, but I just don't know that we need to go to Detmers uh, and deal with the volatility. He's always somebody that's, you know, going to be in consideration for me, along with somebody like Cease, but just may end up being a slate to pass on them at this point. Wicks coming off of a decent start, but he just wasn't picking up strikeouts. Uh, now he's pitching in Coors, but the Colorado lineup is weak. Maybe. I I don't know if I can go there, but uh, he is a minus 190 favorite in this game. Clark Schmidt has thrown the ball pretty well against Boston this year. Has not been good on the road. Uh, that is a worry. Um, solid strikeout numbers of late. Maybe we consider him, but Boston is a minus 125 favorite with a total at 9.5, so... Maybe we end up passing on Clark Schmidt, even though we have been playing him recently. Uh, <clears throat> Avila is not going to do it for me um, against the Dodgers. The Dodgers are a minus 170 favorite. <clears throat> Excuse me. Might be having some internet issues here. Uh, Gavin Stone... Coming off of a an okay start, he gave up three home runs. Uh, I'm not going to use him against San Diego, even though I have been picking on San Diego with pitching a little more often uh, in the second half. Carter Crawford against the Yankees. Dominated him the first time he faced him. Has not been good at home, though. Uh, coming off a couple really bad starts. Not somebody I'm overly interested in, but uh, with how weak some of the late Yankees lineups are that they run out there, I... Do have some intrigue into it. The Mets are a minus one forty favorite. The Mets are a minus one forty favorite here. I don't think I can use Zach Davies at all. Um, shouldn't even really be considering him. Maybe we consider Kyle Freeland at home. 
I don't really want to use pitching against the Cubs. Um, but he is somebody that I have used in Coors previously. So there you have it. There's my first look at pitching. Uh, if you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. If you want to join us, get access to our coaches, tools, cheat sheets, etc., and Discord, actually. Uh, I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, it's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.